Oh. Regardless of whatever you watch on YouTube, it's very likely that you have at least had a passing glance on the YouTube channel Super Mario Logan. For anyone mm -hmm. who might need some sort of a reminder on who this person is, which is understandable He's an awesome given YouTuber. the fact that people have pretty much forgotten about him, Super Mario Logan is a plush YouTuber that basically yep. makes these SML, quote, movies mm -hmm. based on any of and the characters funny. in Logan's universe. Yep. Which mostly consist of plush toys from Super Mario interacting with one another mm -hmm. in various destructives and rather often annoying ways. <sighs> Honestly, yep. that's really all there is to say about that channel. With the exception of the ungodly mascot of the whole entire channel, Jeppy, but... Jeppy's a funny mascot. Later. Now, I'm not going to sit there and waste any of your time sitting there and telling you how much I hate the channel, how much Jeffy's You shouldn't a pain, hate him. And, other and basic Jeffy's not a pain. YouTubers have discussed already on this platform. It's honestly something that I find to be a little bit ridiculous and a bit of a time waster given how often it's talked about. Now, hear me out. It's not. It's not because of the fact that I think Logan is a saint or anything like such. God, no. But it's more, <sighs> more stems from the fact that people are trying to ex who are usually trying to expose this guy are pretty much helping this guy more and more by getting everyone to pretty much hate him. Which in turn I don't hate gives him. him a lot more views and a lot more revenue. Which I guess, the fa I guess given the fact that I'm typing this down as I speak, kind of makes me a complete and utter hypocrite at that statement. Even then, though, I'm still not going to really bother with Logan's channel, as that's not the primary focus of what I'm typing about, although there is a small bit of it that does need to be explained. Mm -hmm. No, this doesn't exactly have anything to do with Logan's channel, as I've mentioned before, his, or his clickbaity girlfriend, or hell, even Jeffy himself, for the most part, but something much more concerning and very disturbing. What? However, before I say anything about this situation, I need to make something abundantly clear. I am not trying to insinuate any kind of, well, ulterior motives that Logan may possibly have, nor am I trying to cause a bunch of drama either in this post. However, what I am trying to do is expose something that Logan is currently doing that could very well cause the downfall if it isn't already down by now, his entire channel from the inside out. Aww. And that issue is his recent merchandising. Okay, I like his merch. Okay, you immediately slam your head on your desk repeatedly, let me explain. While I do know that a few YouTubers have discussed this I'm specific one of the issue, YouTubers. it's still not very well known on the platform. But for anybody wondering, basically last month or so, around the middle of August, Logan opened up a shop with a bunch of SML-themed back-to-school merchandise, for all of his younger fans on his channel. The actual merchandise itself is specifically consists of backpacks, mostly consisting of Jeppy, various pencils and other SML themed light, other SML themed objects, pencil bags, and so many, many, many more. Mostly relating to Jeffy, but it does mm -hmm. touch on a couple of the other characters like Junior, Cody, and Joseph. Now, I like those guys too. To let that process in your heads here. Logan. Is selling school supplies for young elementary school kids. Take into consideration that Logan said countless times on numerous videos that his YouTube channel is not geared towards younger kids. Mm -mm. Yet at the same time, Super Mario Logan's for grown ups. To market and gain profit off of that younger audience with their love of Jeffy that supposedly was never meant to be the case to begin with. Sounds extremely hypocritical to me. And I'm sure it sounds that way to many of you listening in on this news. And if that wasn't enough, think about all the countless underage fans that are currently buying this kind of thing and coming to school with it. I'm one I mean, of the fans. Not only is the fact that much of the stuff itself looks extremely cheaply and poorly made, there's another big problem. Especially given... The Given the fact that bullying in schools has been increasing more and more each and every year in mm -hmm. the public schools, but also the rates of children doing... Jeffy's been bullied a lot. Well, Poor know, guy. Also staggering up more and more. This... This...
this causes a problem. A major problem. I mean, if kids come into school with something like a Jeffy pack backpack or something like that, it's bound to have an extreme amount of consequences, not just on their social life, but very likely could do a lot of screwed up things because of the way that people tend to act. Now, maybe that might that maybe that might yeah, not be Logan's more Logan's age restricted to kids. Per se, but I mean, sure enough, I know. It might be a bit of a stretch to even remotely say that. I mean, because for the most part, I can understand why a lot of people would think that way, given the fact that many kids have superheroes and the like on their backpacks and school supplies that they, well, they show off quite, like, a lot. But mm -hmm. take into consideration that Jeffy is a 13-year-old puppet that glorifies mental disorders, spouts out various calls and the like to people that are genuinely abhorrent, wears a diaper outside of his pants... And lastly, is just all around intolerable to listen to. And then tell me you don't see there being a bunch of future issues with bullying and likely future hospital visits. Jeffy's a of funny course, character. With all that taken into consideration, why did Logan do this to begin with? Mm -hmm. Well, ask the same question as to why he's moved his content to nearly four other YouTube accounts in the past few years. Ask him why he's piggybacked off of his girlfriend's YouTube channel most of the time with clickbait videos. Ask him why he's been violating YouTube's rules in regards to constant repetitive content, as well as various other unsavory things, but that's neither here nor there. Ask him why the fact that he wouldn't get rid of Jeffy. Ask him why he's scammed tons of fans off of his, pa off of his own Patreon. Ask him his reasons, and yet... That answer is abundantly clear, regardless if there's an answer or not. It's money. Logan is doing this for mm. the money. And it's one of the most disgusting things that he has done. He's willing to sell out poorly made school supplies to kids, which in turn will cause a rise in bullying and likely some bans in schools or, God forbid, hospital visits from said students wearing these things. And then, very likely, after there is a complete and utter outrage against it, justifiable, I might add, Logan will ultimately play the victim card when people retaliate against him. Mm -mm. That's a scumbag, people. And no, I do not apologize one bit for saying that. Especially if you know the history of this guy. Of course, many of you are likely asking, well, what exactly is so terrifying about this post? About any of what I'm saying? If you honestly can't see it, then I really wonder if you really have a hard time thinking. Because it's right there in front of you. Let me ask. Do you think bullying is scary? Mm-hmm. Do you think that people being scumbags on YouTube and manipulating various people and the like by taking their money via Patreon and very and sitting there and being a complete hypocrite scares you? Mm -hmm. It should. It certainly should. This entire post should scare the ever-living hell out of anybody, both fan, former fan, and parent alike. It should. It certainly should. Aww. So to end this off, I know and understand that this might not be the horror story you're all pretty much accustomed to. Mm. And I can understand that. But if you really look into it, I mean, tell me that you're not sitting there and your entire body is going pale at what this guy is doing. <gasps> but even if for some reason, after everything that's discussed, you're still not scared. Well, I'm please, not scared. I mean, please, for the love of God himself, try not to fall into any more of his traps. Don't fall for it. I'm not. Because if you wind up going and sitting there and supporting whatever it is that he's doing... It's ultimately going to cause your kids, as well as many other kids, more damage to themselves than anything. Mm -hmm. And if that doesn't scare you, then honestly, I don't think anything is. It don't scare me at all. That was a weird story, guys.